Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Teamer Kicker. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well today, and yes, we are jumping into a Teamer deck. I haven't actually played a Teamer deck in quite a while, I feel like. Uh, it just doesn't seem like one of those color combinations that is necessarily at the forefront right now. However... Uh, Swayze, my good friend and uh, fellow content creator. Swayze, thank you so much, my man. One of the most creative deck builders in the world put this list together, uh, and I think it's phenomenal. Uh, if you guys... I take a quick aside really, really fast. If you don't know who Swayze is, guys, please go check out Swayze. He is linked down below. Uh, truthfully, when I say one of the most creative deck builders I've ever seen, like I play a lot of people's decks, obviously. Uh, his decks are always, may not win the most, may not always get the undefeated runs, but he always has something interesting going on. And this deck is no different. We're seeing a lot of cards that I wouldn't necessarily expect to see or that I haven't even played with yet from the new set, albeit I have been gone for quite a while. But uh, this is the Teamer Kicker deck, and as such, we will see a lot of these kicker cards, these multicolor kicker cards where we have like a red card with a blue kicker, a uh, blue card with a green kicker, th things like that. That's a very prominent piece in Dominaria United. The idea is pretty straightforward. It's basically like ramping into some of these big payoffs, uh, like Titan of Industry, of course. We do have the Colossal Sky Turtle, which is a bit of a tech card, of course, but uh, obviously works quite well as a big, you know, flying ward cost beater. <laughs> uh, we do have Ren and Seven that can spit out that big token. We've got those Topiary Stompers, which will come down, get us a land, and then ideally get us a little bit closer to that seven land uh, slot where we can start attacking here. Uh, we do have Arlen as a three of, which I think is a nice little include here. It's not really one that you expect, but uh, just given that this isn't necessarily a werewolf deck, but I think on her own, Arlen is very good. Uh, and so I don't really know that you need uh, a true werewolf package. Instead, you can just run Arlen. Uh, one of my favorite creatures in the deck, however, is actually the, Vildal the Vildalian uh, Mind Singer. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So this comes in with a 1-1 counter on it, or excuse me, with two 1-1 counters on it for every time it was kicked up to two times. So you can pay one a red and then one a green, uh, basically making it a 6-6. When it comes into the battlefield, though, you gain control of target creature with power less than the Mind Singer's power for as long as you control it. Uh, and so what this does is provide you with a massive, massive tempo swing uh, in your favor because you're getting basically two creatures for the price of one if there's something on the opposing side of the board. Now, if there's not, certainly it's not at its best, but it's still a big 6-6 six -six if you kick it twice. <laughs> uh, and so... Truthfully, I just think this is a very, very good card. Uh, again, some enablers here. Joint Exploration allowing us to draw and then throw an extra land down. Fires of Victory, a very, very solid way to draw a card if you can kick it, but also just a nice little removal spell for us. Uh, Silver Scrutiny going to allow us to refill our hand at instant speed if X is three or less. Otherwise, it's just draw X cards, which is very good. We do have a one of Alchemist Gambit. Uh, I have practiced this deck just a little bit and I have not actually played the Gambit on anybody. Uh, I have had the availability though and it, it seems fun. Uh, and then of course, Temporal Firestorm, uh, just a really nice way to phase out a couple of your things and then ideally sweep the board. Uh, so this works very, very well against a lot of the early game aggressive decks, things like that. So all that to say guys, this is a blast of a deck. We are gonna have some fun today. Uh, again. And Swayze, thank you so much, my man. I really do appreciate you. Let's see what we can do with this one, guys. Let's hopefully get some wins. Let's just have a let's just have a nice fun day. Well, you know, let, let's do that. All right, guys. Here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, I mean, I like this hand. It's not necessarily great. Like a lot of the things in our hand are kind of later game, but we do have that topiary stomper, which should be able to help us get to wherever we need to get to. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the Deep Root Cascade down here. I don't know if there's necessarily a 100% correct land option. Um, I will throw the Shivan Reef down here, though, which will allow us to Fires of Victory if we need to. Um, and then, of course, we've got that Topiary Stomper coming down. I don't think that's the one I want to Fires of Victory. Uh, as annoying as, as that little little doggo is, uh, I don't think that's the biggest problem that we will face this game. 
Uh, so let's go ahead, let's Topiary Stomper. This is also gonna set up that Temporal Firestorm if we need it. Uh, not necessarily saying we will, but you know, it'll be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a second blue source here. That'll give us two blue, two green, uh, and two red. So we've basically got two of everything that we need. Uh, actually three blue technically. Uh, so we'll see what the opponent might be up to this time. Okay. Uh, so what we can do, uh, we could just kick this once uh, to be able to steal the morbid opportunist. Certainly not a bad option. Uh, uh, we could also just kick this and kill something, but I think I kind of like this plan. Um, we can just kick it once. Uh, and that will, I think, let us steal this. I don't even know that we needed to steal that, but it's kind of fun, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and so we're just going to do that. <laughs> um, this is going to allow us to start pressuring the opponent next turn, which is quite helpful. So we'll see how, like, you know, if they spend their turn just dealing with Mind Singer, it's not the end of the world. We've got another one. We also will have that Temporal Firestorm that can just sweep the board at some point. Sure. Thank you. Uh, that's actually really nice. Um, all right, cool. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, the question is, do we want to do this again? Um, alternatively, I mean, again, we do just have a way of straight up killing it. Um, yeah, I think I'll do this. Uh, this is instant speed. Technically, we don't have to do this, but uh, like this turn, we could just wait. Um, but our opponent is kind of down on resources right now, so we're doing okay. I don't love giving them like a card draw. Um, but, uh, other creatures die. Okay, so they don't even get the card draw. That's helpful. Uh, so next turn, that Topiary Stomper will be able to come down and get some damage in, which will be nice. Ooh, a Renin 7, huh? Yes, please. Um, okay. Um, I mean, I think we just attack first. I don't really see a reason not to like if they if they want to do something like block it that's fine um i think we wait on that uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and drop this down and we'll throw the big tree folk out there they've got one mana available so i assume they've got maybe like a is it cut down or whatever the like one mana removal spell is which is fine but it's not going to hit most of our deck in fact potentially like any of our deck <laughs> um so i'm not overly concerned about that yeah they can go ahead and uh exile a couple things here but i kind of want them to invest that mana because then we could just steal it <laughs> um and we just get a lot more stuff out of the deal so it's kind of helpful um but we'll see what the opponent's up to so far this has been quite nice uh that might be a better thing to kill uh, yeah, I think, or just steal it, I guess, right? Like, that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll plus up. Uh, so we got a couple lands there, that's nice. Ooh, we did lose a Titan of Industry, but that's fine. Um, alright, so, we'll kick this twice, uh, just to get a bigger creature out. And then we actually just get to steal the, <laughs> the big Death Toucher. All right, there we go. We did it. That was awesome. Uh, that was exactly what we wanted. That was absolutely perfect. Uh, Swayze, doing you proud, man. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. This month's Patreon Rewards features the amazing tutor pack with some of the most powerful tutors in Magic's history. If you'd like to learn more or sign up today, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, normally, I would say this isn't a very good hand. However, with that Topiary Stomper, we can actually pull the red source we need. And then we've just got refillability uh, kind of coming in clutch here. So we'll give it a shot. Um, I don't necessarily think this is going to be a great game. This isn't the best start, but we truthfully didn't have a great starting hand for the last one either. Uh, so maybe this will be OK. Uh, we do have the red source here now. so. We do lose one life just for that. That's fine. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's do this. 
Uh, I don't love all the pain lands. As you guys know, I've kind of talked about that before. Um, it's not necessarily, like, that's just the reality of you kind of have to have those, uh, especially in in today's meta. But um, it is a, just a little bit of, frus of frustration when you immediately start pinging yourself for a lot. <laughs> um, but, you know, it happens. All right, we'll throw this down. We'll throw this down. I'm just gonna keep ramping as best we can. So that'll get these topiary stompers kind of online a little bit quicker. Uh, so topiary stomper into a second topiary stomper is certainly a good option. Um, and here we just, again, get to leave up the fires of victory. Uh, fully expect they will have some removal here. It looks like they will be playing kind of a four color deck, which is nice, uh, perfectly fine. Yep, that's cool. Um, the thing about it is, like, next turn we have seven lands and they're at four. Uh, we also have a Silver Scrutiny, so, like, we just have a lot of great options, you know? Alright, so we'll throw this down first. Let's go into attacks and see if they play any kind of removal spell, anything like that. Uh, looks like they're not going to. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for the big play. Truthfully, I... I feel like because we're so far ahead in the land department, like kind of cool with just going for it here. And if they, they kill us, they kill us. Uh, but it looks like they're reanimator, uh, which is interesting. So we're gonna throw a shield counter down. Um, I think we'll just throw a rhino out. Um, I'm gonna throw the shield counter here. It looks like they are gonna be kind of like point and shoot removal for the most part. Uh, and so having that on the Titan of Industry should be relevant. Uh, it's not like you're against a blue kind of bounce tempo -y deck. I think a lot of times uh, it's really easy to kind of just do the accidental wrong thing. Um, but here, Kami War just gets us anyway. So it's totally fine. Um, all right, cool. Let's attack in. Uh, return to one other non for each player discards a card. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do this for four. Uh, this leaves up two mana, so we do still have the fires available, um, just in case. And now we've got an Arlen as well. So I'm assuming they're going to bounce this, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, and then we do have to discard a card here. I think it's just a fires. We've got multiple. Um, it's a bit of a tell for us to discard a fires, because now they obviously know we have it. Um, but that's fine. So we're going to get a Dusk Mangler back, uh, which is good. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill it. Um, cool. Uh, we do have to discard a card here, which sucks, but that's fine. All right. Uh, let's do this. We're going to create a couple wolves um, just to start spreading some of this damage out. Let's do this because that does allow us to kick the fires, which at this point, the card draw is more important, I think, than the burn. Um, but we'll see. Man, such a great card. Uh, the Kami War. So funny enough, I'm actually reading the original Kamigawa, excuse me, uh, novel cycle right now. And I'm in the last one. And for anybody that has not read the original novels and that kind of stuff, like, let me just go ahead and say they're not super well written. They're not necessarily like amazing cards by any, or amazing books by any means. However, uh, they are really interesting. Um, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they are really, really interesting. I've enjoyed them quite a bit uh, just from the standpoint of like getting that backstory, if that makes sense, uh, because you don't always get that. And so I think that's uh, kind of worthwhile. Nice. Okay. Um, it's definitely plus. Obviously, there's not really a better option there. Let's see. So we can do this for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and that should give us enough to kill. Yeah. And they have one mana left open. So I'm curious to see what that ends up being. I'm assuming it's a way of killing the Arlen. Excuse me. They have way more than one mana left open. Totally didn't even consider the treasure tokens. 
Uh, that's fine. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. Um, we will play the lands and attack. Um, cool. So Dollhouse does not reanimate this, which is quite helpful. So they don't actually have a good reanimation target. Ooh, they let us go. Hmm. That's surprising. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna attack first. They're gonna kill it. They're gonna lose two to kill it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, I love point and shoot removal decks against like this. Uh, ooh, wow, we totally messed up. Oh no, we totally messed up. That's haste. I forgot it was gonna come down on nightbound. Entirely my fault, guys. Definitely just miss lethal, but you know what? It is what it is. We're having fun. Um, I do want the Sky Turtle. I really like Sky Turtle. Uh, all right, sick. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we just passed then. That was really silly. I can't believe we, we just missed it. That was on me. 100% uh, roast me in the comments, but we still won the game. That... It's called a payoff. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't have won that. I mean, that was a big mistake, but uh, that's okay. We still got the win. That's two for two. Let's go for three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Probably going to be our last game, but this is definitely a keep. Uh, I like this quite a bit, so um, let's let's lead with the Rockfall Veil. Uh, one thing to note, because we do have Topiary Stompers and stuff, there is a mana cost associated like pretty heavily in this deck with the early game of getting two of every color. Uh, and then, of course, late game, we need three. So it is pretty important to make sure that we've got everything that we need here. I am just going to go ahead and uh, fires this just to get it off the field since we don't really have like a great turn three here. Um, I'd rather hold this up and be able to steal something, so I think we're going to try that. Um, unfortunately, just drawing lands here, which is obviously not ideal, but it's okay. It happens. Uh, let's go ahead and get that second green source out. That definitely seems relevant. We'll just pass. Uh, so next turn, we can get this down as a 4-4, four, four. so if they happen to play a creature, uh, we'll be in okay shape. It looks like they are actually mana screwed a little bit. Okay, they did get one. That's good. Um, I'm truthfully one of the things that I think a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people get really excited when their opponent gets like no lands or too many lands or whatever and I get it like it is uh, I get it 100% uh, it makes the game a lot easier uh, but from a standpoint of like trying to show off a good game and like record a good game I would much rather like both decks be doing exactly what they're trying to do and just see which one comes out on top uh, because I feel like that's way more interesting anyway. <laughs> uh, and so, generally speaking, I don't love when that kind of thing happens, because I just feel bad for the opponent. Like, they just get stuck. Uh, and it's not their fault. Like, they literally can't help it. Um, Alright, so we definitely are just going to do this. Um, I think a shield counter will probably be relevant, uh, and I will blow up the Fable. I don't want them to draw more cards. I know I just got done saying I like... You play the game that is handed to you. I did just get done saying <laughs> that I don't want them to like have a bad game, but as part of the game, you have to be able to capitalize as well. So like on that end, you know, it is what it is. But my thing is if they do spend their entire turn just getting rid of a shield counter, uh, great, you know, that's, that's fantastic. That's totally fine. See, like, Okay, so now they might have another removal spell. Okay, so very, very well done by the opponent there. That's great. Uh, but they still can't attack. Um, I mean, I think we just steal it, right? And we'll double kick it just because we can. I would like that. Thank you. Let's attack. Uh, let's play the Shivan Reef and we'll pass. All right, so now they're facing lethal and again, it sucks, but that is the game. They just didn't have land. Um, unless they just draw something really great here, which maybe they do. Um, they played two removal spells last turn though, so they're probably a little lighter on the removal end of things. Uh, I will say to you guys, it's been so nice getting back to the grind. I have missed this. 
uh, the month of September, if you're new here or whatever, like if this is maybe your first time watching the channel, I was out for a month, basically. Uh, just with work and so many other things kind of taking precedence, it was not that I didn't want to do the channel, it was literally I wasn't here to do the channel. Um, I almost got caught up in the hurricane, like it was a whole mess. Uh, however, I truthfully have really enjoyed just kind of getting back to it and like really having a great time with it. It's been so fun and I've missed it. Uh, and so this is this is really a nice place to be. Uh, it's just good to be here. Uh, let's do this. I will do this. Don't want lands. Thank you. I don't actually think I throw this out either. Go ahead and do this. Um, I'll throw a couple wolves out because, again, it does look like they're kind of just on the point and shoot plan, which is fine. Like, it's totally cool. Uh, Alright, sick. But yeah, it's just nice to be here. I really missed you guys. I miss doing this. I miss recording. It's such a blast. So fun. Uh, we also did talk in some of the earlier videos this week that there are some plans to do a little bit more with the channel in the near future, I hope. Uh, we even yesterday tried something a little bit different, which was to uh, kind of release spoilers on like a shorts basis. So we, we made like an Instagram reel, we made those kinds of things, and I think they worked out pretty well. Like they were fun. Uh, and it seems like you guys were enjoying it, so I might try and start doing a little bit more in the spoiler realm. Uh, just because I haven't really done that much before. I've toyed with the idea, but I've never really kept up with it. Uh, and so I just thought it'd be fun to try and so far so good so hopefully uh we can have some fun with that as well i think the opponent is seeing the writing on the wall they did play a really good card uh but unfortunately that's not going to be enough uh so we should get an undefeated run with this list swayze man what a list this has been this is just out of left field for me uh and maybe it's because i have been out for so long i just haven't seen this this style deck kind of take over at all but I did not think initially that this deck was going to be like undefeated run. I just thought it was going to be a really fun deck. And so, I, I, I mean, it's doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, and truthfully, in practice, I don't think I lost a game. I, I played a handful uh, and I don't believe I lost. So like this has been, I guess, if you include practice, uh, probably six games undefeated. Uh, if you just include the run that we are doing today, it's three, obviously, but either way, it's undefeated. And I will mark it as such, and who cares if you disagree? Um, but I feel like a lot of people get so pissy about marking an undefeated, uh, undefeated run. I think it's really funny. Um, I've started caring less. <laughs> Can you tell? John, I know you'll watch, so that's for you. All right. Yeah, opponent definitely just kind of timing it out here. Also, please don't be this person. Don't do this. This is so frustrating for anybody, regardless of if they're a content creator or not. That's just annoying. Uh, nobody needs to do that. Um, all right, we're just gonna just gonna do the attack. We're not gonna overthink it. We're not gonna over worry about it. We're just gonna attack, and they'll do this. This is this is the most time wasty kind of thing. I don't know what this says. <laughs> I don't know their name, but <laughs> this person is very annoying to me at the moment, uh, but that's fine. We still won. Cheers. Mm -mm. <sighs> Man, I love coffee. Such a helpful tool. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, this is, this is silly. I, come on, don't do not do this. Don't be this guy. Like, I'm sure they're not even there anymore and it's just like whatever, but there we go, we did it. Yep, we got it. That's undefeated with Teamer Kicker, guys. What a blast. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Oh, let's rank up really quick. Yeah, gold one. Whoo, all right, sick. <laughs> let's wrap this up. All right, guys, so first and foremost, again, Swayze, thank you so much for sharing this list over on Aetherhub. I did not change a single card in this one. I know I've kind of been taking and picking and choosing a couple different cards for certain, cert, uh, some of the decks that we have been testing. Uh, but truthfully, this one seems so well like put together and so tight knit that I didn't really want to mess with it too much. I wanted to see what it did as is. 
and it was great. Uh, undefeated, man. That was awesome. Uh, I did not see, or I haven't seen in my travels over the YouTube interweb space, uh, I have not seen a whole lot of Teamer Kicker being played. Um, I may have missed it though, guys. Again, I'm just getting back and like truly kind of jumping back into recording. So if there is a lot and I just missed it, I apologize. But I still think this deck is worth trying. This is such a fun deck to play. It attacks on some different levels. It's got some cards you wouldn't expect. Uh, and I like that. I like the unexpectedness of this deck. I feel like it's not something people will necessarily see uh, coming if you're playing the deck and, you know, they're used to a lot of these like rakdos decks or whatever it might be. Uh, and so it's just a little something different. It's a little something special. Swayze did a great job with it, man. Thank you so much again. I really do appreciate it. Thank all of you guys for being patient with me through September and getting back to it. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys very much. Undefeated. Oof. Feels so good. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.